it's a, a very real issue. Uh, in 2008 and 9, we were suffering from uh, manipulation by financial institutions. Uh, in some ways, that was easier to deal with. This is for much realer in the sense that uh, uh, people are getting sick and they are not working and there is less money uh, being produced. I guess last time we were worried that a financial crisis was going to produce uh, a real economic impact. This time, the economic impact we could have seen produce a financial crisis, i.e., fewer people earning money. And again, I think that's where we can take some credit as a nation for having staved that off with our uh, reforms. But there is a fundamental difference here uh, in how we deal with it. One of the things that 2008 saw was total cooperation between a Democratic House and Senate and the Bush administration. And that's what's missing now. When Nancy Pelosi asked me and uh, uh, when Chris Dodd, when we negotiated with the Bush administration with Hank Paulson, we had absolute certainty that any arrangements we made with Secretary Paulson would carry out. Uh, you also had complete coordination between the Federal Reserve and the Treasury. And it is in the nature of the American system that authority to deal in a crisis is divided between those two. So you had three parties, the, the Democratic Congress, the Secretary of the Treasury under George Bush, and the uh, more independent Federal Reserve, although Bush appointed, working together. We could all trust each other. We could all make commitments. And when you're doing something like that, you give something in return for something else. We had a constituency that we had to deal with, the Democratic and other members of Congress. We could talk to Hank Paulson and Ben Bernanke and know that anything we asked them to do to make our job easier, they could follow through. That's missing now. Donald Trump just has destroyed that. Nancy Pelosi is a very good negotiator and very constructive. And I think Mnuchin is, is well-intentioned, too. But Nancy Pelosi can't be sure that anything she works out with Mnuchin will be supported by, by Donald Trump. All right, well, then— and Similarly— Let's, yeah, sorry, let's talk about what the government should do, because in order to address this public health crisis, we're basically being instructed to shut the country down economically. Everybody go home. Is the solution here— for the government to potentially step in, create a, a national holiday for a month or two months, close the markets. I mean, business is going to stop and we could see the travel, the leisure business, the retail business simply go into bankruptcy. Well, first of all, I don't think we have to go that far. Um, there are people, younger people who are in perfect health, who are not going to be in situations where they're in physical contact with a lot of people, uh, there's no reason for everybody to stay home. There are particularly hazardous groups, or groups at risk. There are hazardous situations, uh, and they can be cut back. People can work from home, of course, even in those situations. But I don't think we want a total shutdown. On the other hand, that, that doesn't obviate the need for the government. Yeah, I think this is the time to replace the income that's being lost. Uh, as I said, in 2008, we had a, a financial system crisis that we were afraid was going to impact on the real economy. This is the reverse. The reverse of the, the problems are in the real economy with people not being able to work and not being able to get the parts that they need, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, in this case, yeah, the government should can help by providing money. That is, we have two reasons why you'll have a problem here. There are people who physically are told they can't work. There are parts they can't get. But there's the further problem of the, of the multiplier that that has. When some people can't work, they don't make any money, they don't spend money. So people who could work are thrown out of work because there's no business for them. That second part, that, that, that magnify, knock-on effect, the government can deal with. The government can replace the funds that are being lost because of the physical problem. You mentioned uh, earlier in this segment manipulation going on in 2008. Seeing that right now we know there are going to be vulnerable industries because we're telling people to stay home, are you worried about market ma manipulation? Do you think we should consider banning short selling? Think about what investors could do right now targeting, let's say, the retail industry, the hospitality industry, knowing those industries are going to be uh, basically paralyzed. Well, I, I haven't seen evidence, of course, I'm not in the center of things. I don't see as much uh, as I used to, and I don't look as much uh, 
one of the benefits of retirement. But um, I don't see any any degree that short selling has been a problem. You know, I think in fact, yet, as I said, that, but if everyone stops going well, to shopping malls, if everyone stops going to restaurants, casinos, bars, uh, then short short sellers could come in quick. We know those businesses are well, going to struggle could, to but make I, payroll. You know, we have enough uh, problems now. I think banning something on the possibility that it might happen uh, is not a good idea right now. And adding, you know, there are some legitimate reasons uh, for various market things. Um, I think the first thing to do is to replace the stream of income that is lost. And again, there, there are two, two problems. One is the physical, actual inability to work for either you can't get to work or you don't have the... Uh, the supply chain's been interrupted, but then there's the knock-on effect from that when one group is unable to work and then they don't pay anybody else. The government could deal with that second part. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.